Hello and welcome to another video on the Raster Test channel. I want to start the video off with a simple question. Have you ever been in the situation where you defined a really nice feature and now it's time to automate it, but you're afraid it's going to take too much time or you don't really feel like doing it? So I got a solution for you in three easy steps with Cypress. Step number one, you need a Cypress account, which is pretty easy to do. You just go to the main Cypress website and you can either log in with Google or with a simple email, or if you already have an account, you just log in. As a second step, you will need to do a really quick setup. You will just need to open your Cypress project, go to the configuration and add this line right here, which says experimental prompt command equals true. And that's it, you're good to go. Well, almost good to go. Uh, you need, of course, to take your story or your scenario and put it in a CI prompt format. So let's see how we can do that. The process is actually straightforward. I mean, the CI prompt command understands BDD format and even understands normal English. Now, my example is a bit different because I used a few variables which um, can be seen in the configuration, but you can choose not to use them and it will still work. So let's see how this test will run live. So CI prompt will see how many steps you define in your prompt and will make sense of them and execute them based on what you defined as a normal string a normal text and it will try its best to match that description with what it sees in the application now after it runs it will either pass or fail and in case it passes you in at this point have two options from my point of view you can either leave ci prompt like it is and mix it up with your normal cypress tests or you can actually go ahead and copy the code you generated and just create another prompt. But besides this happy flow scenario, there's also another scenario which I want to show you. So consider this, you run the test and the step doesn't work. It says when you want to subscribe to the channel, I mean, you can do that, but you cannot do that on the page we're testing. So you can at this point actually change the text, continue, have CI prompt rethink about what's on the page and then make sense of the new instructions and continue your test as if nothing ever happened and it passes. So I hope you liked the video, but don't go away. Wait, if you want to know more about Cyprus, tune in to the Cyprus conference in the end of October, a free event where you will see more about CI prompt and many other interesting topics. As always, do not forget to rest, then test, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one and bye-bye.